okay so today we will talk about basically the very basics of the science and why i'm telling the basics of the science because any major prediction any prediction which is very astonishing for you which is very shocking for you okay oh my god how he can make uh, very specific predictions okay so just like for the step three we have made the prediction on the legs on the tattoo and tattoo on the legs okay so mm-hmm. why it's like that why on the specific part how can you specify your predictions how can you be uh, put add actually how can you actually add the details in your predictions in your statements or in your even psychological analysis okay also these things small small thing will help you a lot in the horror chart also even in the horror questions also the same concept will also be applicable in the horary okay so i will start and i will try to make it very crisp and easy okay so you know that aries uh, so basically here the we have the zo- oops zodiac numbers or zodiac signs name aries taurus gemini cancer and so on and here we have the element which element fire element earth element air water or for what it's a type movable fixed dual movable fixed dual or what and the third is night day uh, like there are the two kind of signs either the night sign or either the day signs okay i am just taking the three uh, basically fire elements or elements in the type of the zodiac signs are the most two famous uh categories of the zodiacs okay but people doesn't know how to use them in the predictions okay third which i introduced which is the days day strong in the night strong concept so some signs are the days strong signs and some signs are the night strong signs okay uh angela you know about this day and the night sign i think you must be knowing about it <clears throat> okay yeah so we will use them in the predictions okay how first of all we will understand how can you make the things or how can you make objects uh in these things sorry i am not very good with the excel on these numbers okay how can you make things and objects okay so first of all we will just use that okay so aries is a sign which is a fire element okay and this is a movable element so what kind of objects it can make always remember that for the movable signs anything which is very fast growing okay anything which is very fast growing anything which is on a very large scale is always represented by the movable signs okay anything which is on the large scale or anything which moves very fast or which is very longer or larger in the duration also in the terms of time also it is always represented by the movable signs okay so let me give you the example for it okay so now you have to combine the fire concept and the movable concept okay but this movable should be on the larger extent so i will give you the one example okay then we uh, you guys try on the other elements so as aries is a fire and a movable type it will make objects like forest fires because forest fires grow very rapidly okay and also they are on the very large extent they actually burns the hectares and the acre of the lands of the forest okay on a very large extent and grow very rapidly you got it and it's a movable so you got it like the fire and the movable how we make a concept fire and the movable correct okay now uh the third fire sign we have is leo okay but leo is has a fire element but it's a fixed sign okay so what kind of objects related with the fire can be made through the leo sign any guesses okay i will tell um, you um oh. yes 
Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. A campfire? Yeah, a campfire, a kind of a campfire. Even uh, you must have, uh, in India, it's not very uh, common, but uh, you must have seen the houses in the hilly areas. Yeah. They have uh, uh, own, what, you know, that, I don't know the name of it. The oh. in-house campfire. Basically. Yeah, I forgot what it's called. Firehouse, I don't remember. Yeah, they have basically you know, a chimney coming out from the house. And uh, they have a fireplace in the house, basically. So it's the fixed. It doesn't move. Mm -hmm. The fire never moves from there. Okay, the source of the, basically the source of the fire never moves from there. Okay. Huh, like a furnace. Yes, correct. Furnace is the correct word. Thank you, Angela. So furnace or fireplace in house. Okay. These are the things which can be things and objects, which can be made from the Leo sign, okay? Because Leo is a fixed sign. And you know, you, furnaces, fireplace in the houses, and even any kind of furnaces, even in the kitchen, the furnaces in the kitchens, okay, furnaces in the restaurants, are the fix, fixed fire element. Okay, I will give you the example how you can use in the prediction, okay? Now, we have another fire sign which is dual okay another fire sign which is dual so what it can be it's movable also and it's fixed also torch okay so you know uh, what we said the torch beer in the olympics uh, what we say in the english i don't know the correct word basically they take it in their hand and they run in the front of the marathon. Okay, torch, candles, candles, which can be fixed also and which can be moved also according to your convenience. Okay, I don't know what we say that, uh, what, what is that? the person or the athlete who is running in front of all the marathons or the athletes in the marathons in the Olympics, they take it some kind of, you know, stick in their hand, it is burning. So it's like a, sorry. Hello, sorry, who said? She said it like a torch. It's yeah, like it's like said, a torch. Yeah. It's like a torch, but it's not an electrical torch. You know, it's just like uh, which we use in the forest, in the jungle, like which is made from the natural sources. Okay, so uh, these things are these objects are the dual. Okay, now you try for the air signs. Okay, let's take air movable. So air movable is Libra. What will be the air in the movable? Which is a which is the element of air and which is very movable on the large extent. Like wind, correct. Wind. Wind, wind cyclones. Okay. You know, uh, US has Oklahoma City, which generally faces a lot of tornadoes every year. Okay. Tornadoes. Cyclones. Now you come to air fixed. So air fixed, we have Aquarius. So what will be the element which will be found by the air element and the fixed element? Any guesses? Like an air conditioner? Exactly, very good, very good. This is really good. Air conditioner, ceiling fans. You got it? I don't know what is spelling of ceiling fans, okay. Now, the air dual. Okay, what will the air dual? A fan, but a hand fan, like a hand fan you can hold. Correct, very good. And so, a hand fan. 
and even uh, there are other sources of uh, dual layer also which i cannot recall right now uh, but your hand fan definitely is an example okay for the fixed air sign i can give a more one more example you have uh, seen the wind uh, wind mills okay so wind mills are basically the fixed they are the fixed source of the wind okay so that's the one thing even uh, convection uh, i don't know the con we say the convection duct or air duct air duct in the in the hospitals or in the any home in any building air ducts you must have seen you know in the mission impossible series the tom <laughs> tom cruise goes into the air duct and uh, did yeah. it to his missions so i have seen whenever they have to escape anything they will use the air duct <laughs> so what will the air duct air duct will be the fixed it will be the dual or it will be the movable uh fixed yes it will be fixed okay so air where is air fixed air so air fixed okay ducts air duct You got it, guys. And yes. that also, you must have seen uh, the vacuum cleaner. Air dual, it's a fixed also. It's movable also. Okay, vacuum cleaner. Got it. Yeah. so that's how you make the things in the objects okay so i will share a chart with you and uh, i'm not getting this chart but okay i will tell you verbally that person has a uh, second of saturn and the sun okay so uh, just remove it because it was making connection with the uh, mars also mars and the sun so mars and the sun was there in the second house in a capricorn sign the person has got a mark on his face on his head basically okay above the eye so tell me in the capricorn sign okay sun is there mars is there what kind of a mark it can be or from what kind of objects it can be what kind of object can give the mark to that person capricorn okay i didn't tell you about the earth elements no let me tell you about the earth elements then we will come to this question anything comes out from the earth okay or like the anything which is related with earth, like the plants trees okay so earth sign fixed sign plants trees these are the things okay anything which is dual okay even uh, oil wells mines these are earth sign earth element but to fix it okay but when you have to curve which is earth and the movable okay so what it can be pottery you know the pots earth made in pots earth in pots basically it's earth you can move it you got it earth in pots and uh, what can be other things uh, which are sorry this is the movable no Uh, we are writing in the 
sorry, we should be writing the earth in the dual sense. Earth, earth and pots. Okay, dual sense. They can be fixed, they can be moved also. Okay, what else you get from the earth? You get the wood. Okay, so if it is in the trees, if wood is in the tree, okay, then it's a fixed. If it is in with the chair or something, then it's from the dual. Okay, you can move your chair, you can move your table. So it's like that. But what is a movable thing in the in the earth element? Who will tell me the movable things in the earth element? Rocks. What? Rock. 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 Yeah. Rocks uh, is not right, but there is one thing: lava. Plants. Planks. Plants. Plants. Plants are the fixed. Plants are fixed. They, they they don't move from their one place to another place. Okay. Lava. Molten is lava from the lava. volcano. Or anything which is related to that, or even anything. Just suppose I will. I will tell you how it. How can you make the versions of it? Okay, anything which is on the large extent. Okay, which is on a very large extent, just like uh, the fields and uh, you know, basically farms. Farms is the right word. Farms. these are the on a very large extent obviously earth cannot move because we have uh, we have a different nature of the earth okay it cannot move but what i have told is movable signs always represents anything which moves very fast or which happens on a very large scale okay so crops uh, sorry farms orchards these are the things which comes under under earth and a movable thing on a very large scale Okay. Okay. Any confusion, Ange Angela? Earth is earth. Okay. Thank you, Angela. Oh, uh, okay. Farms, orchards. These are the things which can be, you know, movable. Okay. Now the one on the planet has left. Now you guys have to tell me this. I will not tell. This is very easy. Okay. Water movable, water fixed, and water dual. Who will tell me? Water. Like the Water. ocean. Okay, ocean. In which category it will come? Movable. It cancel. Hmm. You know, here you will understand. There's a lot of people who keep fighting in the groups. You know, Pisces is just like the mirror in yourself. So when you look into the water, you see your, uh, basically you see your reflection. It's like the mirror. Every water sign behaves like a, a mirror. Anyways, I have told which sign represents the mirror. Okay. But the thing is. now you will actually get how it, these things get distinguished okay so who who told me ocean will come in which uh, in the fixed dual or in the movable ocean fixed fixed it will come in the fixed mhm mm why give me your reasoning cuz you can't move it you can move the oceans Can you move the Indian Ocean or can you move the Atlantic Ocean? Can you reshuffle it? And if you said it cannot be moved, correct? You said it cannot be moved. 
or yeah. what you said. Yes, that that's right. It cannot be moved. Correct. So you have said correctly. It cannot be moved. So it, it will come in the fixed. Try to think. Try to think. Okay. Uh, if oceans cannot be moved, okay, then what about the ponds? Where the lakes and the ponds will come in the movable, fixed, or the dual? Well, some ponds can be man made, move them. Some ponds can be man-made and move them. Okay. But see the natural nature of these things. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Think. I think Angela has answered something. Movable, the oceans are the large. Okay, so they are the movable. You have currents in them. Okay, so what about the river, Angela? It's not that easy. It's easy. It's easy. If you think very clearly, it's easy. But isn't interesting? In which category you will put the ocean, ponds, and the river? There are the three kinds of the water body. Okay, you have the seas, oceans. Then you have come lake, ponds. Okay, and then you have the streams and the rivers. Only three kind of, majorly three kind of water bodies are there. Okay, would lake be fixed? Lakes and ponds are fixed. Lakes and ponds are fixed. Correct. This is correct. Yeah. Because okay. their water doesn't move that much. Okay, mm -hmm. they are almost, uh, they have their volume of the lake is almost same. They don't have very high currents. Okay, they don't have very strong currents in them. You can easily go and swim in the lakes, correct? They are not yeah. very deep also. So that's why lakes and the ponds are the fixed plus water elements. Okay, so where, where we have water and fixed, water, fixed, Scorpio. Okay. Lake, ponds, okay? So now we have two water bodies. One is the river and one is the ocean. Um, is dual is the river. Movable is the river. Yes. Okay, your reasoning, your logic behind it. Um, rivers run, There's, they run through. Correct, this it's is correct. Rivers always keep flowing. Rivers always keep flowing. Okay. So rivers, streams are the water plus movable elements. Okay. Movable objects. Now we have just the one thing and it's very obvious now where the oceans will go and it will go into the passes. Okay. Because <clears throat> oceans are very big also. But they are very stable also. They, they don't move from one place to another. You know, it's not like that, okay, uh, the Indian Ocean and the Atlantic Ocean has replaced their places. So it's not like that. They are fixed also, but they are very large. They are, so that's why they come into the dual section. You get it? And that's why now you can understand that. If you see, okay, if you see in the water element, there is an increasing order. Okay, first you get the cancer sign, which represents the rivers and the streams. These are the small things. Then you come to the lakes and the ponds, which are on the bigger scale. Okay, the width is bigger. Then you come to the ocean, which are more bigger. So it is in the increasing order. Okay, that's why, that's why, we always say Pisces is the ocean of the wisdom, ocean of the knowledge, because Pisces represents oceans, seas. He has seen everything. Pisces has seen everything. Okay. 
now i will tell you one more thing about the movable fix and the dual thing is there is a saying in a uh, in a classical text okay uh, if when it is said in the uttar kalamitra and uh, bphs also and some other classical text also although it doesn't you know uh, you can use it in the horary okay you can use it in the horary just suppose if a person comes to you and they say can you tell me where my partner is or what my partner is doing oh just suppose where my partner is if it's in the fixed sense just uh, your it is about your partner okay so what you have to see is you have to see the seventh house for the partner okay then see what sign is falling in the seventh house it's a movable is in the uh, fixed sign or it's in the dual sign and see the placement of the seventh lord in which sign it is good okay so if we always represent movable represents longer distance okay movable represents longer distance uh, basically a guy came to me oh sorry let me complete it so that you guys can note it down and then i will tell you about how i used it in the prediction okay you have to, uh, you use these things when you already make the body of your prediction and you just have to add on you know some ornamentations or some more detail into it so uh, movable sign represents long distance fixed sign represents the same area okay or the nearby area it's not like very too far okay and the dual sign represents mid of between so you can so for an example movable signs represents 1000 kilometers the fixed sign represents 10 kilometers 10 to 50 kilometers and the dual sign represents something around 400 to 500 kilometers i'm just giving a normal example it can vary depending upon the scale okay got it so now guy came to me and he has asked that when i will get the job i said okay in this in this timing you will get the job he said okay he asked me if i will get the job in the same city in which i am right now or i will get the job in uh, he has said the city mumbai he said or if i will get the job in mumbai so mumbai is very very far away from the delhi okay then i saw then it which sign uh, the dasha lord so basically the dasha which was giving uh, the job change okay the job in which sign it is sitting it is sitting in the movable sign fixed sign or the dual sign so it was sitting in the movable sign so i said movable sign represents longer distance you will get job in the mumbai okay and as per the prediction he has got the job in the same timing and in the mumbai okay but his 10th lord his 10th lord was sitting in the dual sign so he also gave the dual results so he got the two offers okay thank you anjan so he got the two offers because 10th lord was in the dual sign so he got the two offers so one is from the very far city okay and one is from the nearby city you like city which is 200 kilometers away so you got it how how actually it works he just asked me if he will get something some job offer from mumbai or not i said yes you will get i didn't said that you will join there okay he just asked me if i will get it or not but well, yes you will get it because your dasha lord is in the movable sign okay now let's see how we we'll, how we will use in another prediction okay so a person has sun and the mars in the second house okay also actually saturn was there okay saturn is also there then tell me from which kind of objects this person can get a mark on his, on his face any guesses
Ashley. Whenever we use the predictions, okay, first you always go to the the first uh, like how to make the predictions. So first for the prediction, first use the signification of the planets. Okay, then use the significations of all the things represented by the signs. And we have already told that he has got a burn mark on his face. So second was related to the face. Okay, so it is already defined. But how to use the other significations? Actually, he adds Saturn, oh, sorry, Sun and the Mars. Okay, in the second house. And Saturn was aspecting from the eighth house. Okay. You guys got it or not? Can you guys imagine a chart in your mind or should I draw it? I can draw it for you guys if you can't understand. Let me show you. I paint. Guys, give me answer, please. Um draw it please yeah sure <clears throat> actually forgot my ipad but we will do the work from here just give me a minute so that i can feel free can you see it yes okay so please forgive my the world level artistic drawings okay i'm not so much good in it so okay. please bear me with that i can feel like i'm a picasso <laughs> okay but yes i have a lot of ergo traits so i will make a perfect chart i don't like small offset of the lines <laughs> okay so this one this one, this one, this one. Okay, so we have got a chart ready. Okay, now we got a Capricorn here. Okay, ten Capricorn sign. Okay, so let's better write it. CP, CP for Capricorn. Okay, so we have here Sun and Mars. Okay. And we have here, which will come in the uh, cancer sign, okay? Uh, cancer. Okay, Saturn. Now tell me, from which kind of elements, which we have just discussed, okay? You, I'm also giving you a hint. You don't have to consider the cancer. Okay. Right now, don't consider the cancer. Okay. Right now, I will also tell you how you can even uh, make the prediction more finer with the use of cancer sign. Now, who will tell me? Who will tell me? Come on, guys. He got the mark from the sharp object, Mars, used for farming Capricorn. Okay. And uh, from where you will use Sun? That's a very good try, Angel. That's a very good try. Uh, but that's not true. Okay. Uh, you have to use the sun. Use the signification of the sun, Mars, Saturn. Try to predict it. Try to predict it. Mazai. Sorry. It will be really, really fun. When I get emotional, I start speaking in Hindi. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ashley, I hope you are not beating your head. No, I'm. I'm reading. Um, Is it clearly visible or not? Yes. Okay. Okay. So there is the one thing. He got the mark because of the accident. Okay. Because Mars is there. Because of what? Because Mars is there. Mars always represents accidents, certain things. Okay. But sun is also sitting there. From sun fire? Yes. 
very good very good you know see these predictions are if you know the if you know your basics no if you know your basics your prediction can be you know like a magic you can tell the details like a magic if you know the uh, prediction yes uh, it's fire she said fire stephanie has said fire sun represents fire so actually he's got a burn on his face because of fire Do you tie in like the Capricorn? I will, like I will, I will tell how, how to. I will tell how to use the signification of Capricorn. Okay, but now you have to use. You have to combine all the things. You have to combine the signification of the sign. You have to combine signification of the planets also. Okay, so fire. Uh, sorry, sun is fire. Okay, Mars is accidents. Correct. Yes. So he got a mark due to the fire accident. That's very clear. But what kind of a fire accident? Oh, a fixed fire accident. Exactly, exactly. Exactly, Angela. Bravo, bravo, bravo. They were burning the trash <laughs> because Saturn represents the trash. Saturn <laughs> represents, you know, uh, the wastage. and capricorn is a movable sign so the wastage the uh, they were actually burning the pile of a wastage it's like a huge wastage thing on a very open ground and that yeah. boy was actually competing with other you know other with his other friends because mars is their competition competition so he was he was very like the six a uh, six year old or five year old guy he was actually competing okay i will go to the fire uh, sorry i am the best person who can go to the fire as near as possible so he was doing the competition of going near to the fire that's how i got the mark okay so you got it how you how we use the capricorn capricorn is something which is it it's movable it's a earthy sign okay so something is related with earth and you know what what was burning in that trash what was the trash made up of two things any any guesses any guesses crops <laughs> yes <laughs> they were was... actually burning the wasted crops the the crops which were of no use they were burning of that can you imagine how can you make a whole picture they were burning the crops because it's earthy movable sign Saturn is aspecting it. That represents something related to wastage. Hmm. Sun is a fire. Mars is an accident, and Mars is also, you know, like uh, competition. And now I will use the Cancer sign. Okay. Now I will use the signification of the Cancer sign. He had felt fire with water. No. what is the other uh, significations of the cancer don't use the water and uh, movable okay what are the normal like normal which you discuss in the facebook groups and all he was lighting the fire with a mirror no 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 Ashley, it happened at night. No, no, no! Don't go to my uh, table, which I have just made. Don't go to my table. Very, very. It's very easy. It's very easy. Like you have to just, you know, think the most primary signification of cancer sign. Okay. Primary. Mom. 
his mother okay mom very good and you know at that time when he got burned his mom was sick because had an is a cancer sign mm-hmm. saturn represents sickness illness uh, i said angela saturn represents sickness and the illness cancer represents your cancer is a natural sign for the mother his mother was sick at that time again one addition to the point okay another thing is cancer represents hope it was near the home mm-hmm. yeah so basically the pile of that trash crops was near the home okay can you see the level of you know the detailings okay so that's how you get these things okay uh i have never seen anyone teach this level of detail of putting this level of detail now uh, i always say the most astonishing predictions which you will get in your life are comes comes from the complete complete basics if you know the cancer represents rivers okay if someone says that my girlfriend had a accident or in the water body then what kind of a water body you can predict from the chart or even even if you know the person you can make a horary chart and the same principles will be applied in the horary the same principles so what i was saying if someone comes to you and say okay where my partner is okay even you can draw on your part okay when you just want to spy on your partner so what is doing so open the horary chart take okay? see where the seven uh, which sign which is falling in the seventh house and where the seventh lord is going okay see it's in the dual sign it's in the fixed sign or it's in the movable sign if it's in the movable sign okay your partner either is traveling to a very long distance or he is very very long away from you if he is the fixed sign he is somewhere near around the house if it's a dual sign uh, sorry if it's a movable sign he is sitting or he is resting at the position but at a very far distance but if it is a fixed sign it is somewhere near around your house and if it is a dual sign then it is somewhere between it is like on the way he is coming on the dual sign okay so when you didn't have the whatsapp around 2000 years ago so <laughs> they used to make our right chart and they used to see okay he is traveling right now that's how they used to get the pay. okay that was a joke and i know it's a very bad joke <laughs> but anyway uh so that's how you can actually use in the horary a lady came to me she said sir please tell me at this present moment what my husband is doing okay his uh, seventh lord now i will tell you how to see is the seventh the sign which is falling in the seventh house will be a prominent one or where the seventh lord is going will be the prominent one okay so let's see here okay this suppose this is a sagittarius ascendant okay ascendant of okay i will not reveal it sorry i sometimes get very low e okay so this is sagittarius ascendant just suppose this is a horary chart just suppose that it's a horary chart okay mercury is the okay so who will be the seventh lord mercury. um for a sagittarius ascendant mercury will be the your 
seventh lot. Correct? Yeah. Now suppose let's erase it. Okay. Where you want the mercury to be placed? Where do you want it to be placed? Yeah. Just give me any random example where you want me to mercury place. Okay. First of all, if we have sun in the second house, mercury cannot go beyond the Sagittarius and the Aquarius sign. Okay. So just suppose that mercury is in the Sagittarius sign. Just suppose. Okay. This is a horary chart. Okay. Then what you have to do is you have to see if the uh, now the seventh house is also dual, okay, and the seventh lord is also sitting in a dual sign, correct? Gemini and Sagittarius both are the dual signs. Yeah. Correct. So then we can clearly say that your partner is traveling right now, or something related with the traveling, or he is in the midway. He is not even at a, at his office, and even he is not at his home. Okay, he is at somewhere else, or he is traveling. You can say that. Okay. Now, just suppose this sign will fall into the Aquarius. Okay, this house will come to the Aquarius. My God, sorry. Aquarius. Just suppose if Mercury is sitting here in the Aquarius sign. So Aquarius sign is a fixed sign. Correct. So where your partner will be? At home. No. At... Yeah, yeah, it's a fixed sign. So, okay. So the person is near about by home. He's near the home. Okay. This is a saying that, okay, you can test on the charts that if it is, if sun in your chart, okay, if sun in your chart is in the dual sign, your father at the time of your birth, was travel was actually moving basically he was not near your mother and he was not at very far place he was coming to your mother he was in the midway if you have sun in a movable sign your father was not near to your mother he was very far away from your mother and if sun is in the fixed sign your father was near to your mother Can you see how, how we are using the movable fixed and the dual signs? Yes. Ashley, any confusion? Come on, come on, you can ask. Go ahead, go ahead. So are you talking about um, if the, in, like, are you talking about the, the Lord of the house or just the sign that it's in? I'm talking about uh, for the sun thing. Yeah, I'm just talking about the sign in which the sun is sitting. Just suppose oh. sun is the Capricorn sign. Okay, your father was not near to your mother. If your son was into the Taurus sign, it's a fixed sign. Your father was most probably near to your mother. If sun is in the Sagittarius sign, your father was traveling or was in the midway. When you okay. Were, yeah, when you were coming out of your uh, mother's womb. Okay, okay. at the I time of your birth. Sorry. I think that's right. When I was born, my dad, he wasn't there. And the sun is in Libra for me. So the, that's movable. That's movable. And he wasn't present when I was born. <laughs> Correct. And he wasn't on the way. <laughs> can you see how, uh, yes, Angela, we can do, we can apply these concepts in any prediction, in any way, in for the siblings or whatever you want to apply. Just suppose a person came to you and he said, sir, I want to go to the foreign. Will I get a job in the foreign? Or will I able to travel? Okay. In this month, you make a horary chart and you see if the ascendant is going into the movable sign, that person most probably can go to the foreign or can do the traveling. Okay. Just suppose now <clears throat> the thing is, if the movable sign is present, then you can say that you will really go to the foreign land. Okay. If it's in the dual sign, you will say you will not go to the foreign land, but you will go to the another part of the country. Just suppose you are traveling from the San Francisco to the New York. Okay. It's not the foreign land, 
but it's in the same country but the distance a uh, very decent distance is there to travel okay but if it is a fixed sign you will say i don't see that you are going to travel for the couple of for the next couple of months because horary chart is not for always always remember that horary chart is basically for the main present time and for the next coming of the months okay so you can apply in the horary also you can apply in the natal also if you see any person who was established in the foreign country just suppose a person who is born in a us settled in the germany okay and uh, born in the mexico settled in the us you see lot of planets will be in the movable sign either in the navamsha either in the d1 native this is the one technique to see a person can go to the foreign lands or not chances are with the foreign lands or not if it is will be in the dual signs what will happen that person will have some foreign connection okay so he will keep going and keep coming short trips related to the foreign lands that's me dual signs dual signs angela lots of dual and i travel a lot but nothing will be like it will not be settled in the very far away land okay so she will go to the us she will come back she will go to another country she will come back then i will again go to the another country she will come back so completely with the basics from with the fixed dual and all the things you can make the things just suppose now let's come to back to the chart okay suppose aquarius is a fixed sign gemini is a dual sign okay seventh lord is is mercury going into the fixed sign uh yeah fixed sign so tell me the person is near the house a person is traveling in the midway how will you decide it okay that's here the confusion element and that's where you use the next element is which is the element of day and night okay so these are the signs basically aries taurus gemini cancer are the night signs okay and sagi and capricorn are the night signs rest all the signs are the day signs can you see the screen guys or not oh sorry sorry if you see the, see the screen can you see the screen now yes okay aries taurus gemini cancer are the night signs leo virgo libra scorpio are the day signs sagittarius capricorn are the night signs aquarius and pisces are the day signs okay got it any confusion in this stephanie ashley archana archana are you there you are very silent i forgot you are in I'm the there. class i'm there <laughs> okay so what you have to do is when you just suppose when you make a horary chart okay let me open my j hora and then we can use it okay so this is this is a chart of right now okay i just make a chart of current time and this is who is the seventh uh, first of all tell me which kind of sign we have in the seventh house which kind of sign we have in the seventh house guys can you see it dual. properly yeah it's dual okay who is the lord of the dual sign of this dual sign pisces who is the lord Jupiter. Uh, hmm. Jupiter. 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 Okay. Where the Jupiter is sitting? In which sign it is sitting? Capricorn. It's in the Capricorn. Correct. Correct. Yes. Now you come here and see. Okay. So. Uh, now you have note the two signs the pisces sign and the capricorn sign pisces sign is a dual sign capricorn is a movable sign okay so now you have got the confusion where the partner is either the partner is sleeping or sitting at very far distance or he is traveling or he is on the midway okay so for this you will use the night signs and the day signs so this is right now i have made a chart on my place always remember that horary chart you have to make always on your place 
even if your client is sitting in the north pole of the earth and you are sitting in the new york or you are sitting in the dallas you have to make a chart of your current city correct is this clear or not yes okay you will make a chart of your current city i am in the agra i will make a chart of agra and i have made that okay so now the capricorn on the pisces sign if you see at my place this is night correct what is the definition of night For, uh, the definition of the day is i will write it here day is from sunrise to to sunset this is the definition of day and this is the definition of night from sunset to sunrise okay any confusion in this no okay now you go to the jehora okay you see jehora and why i have made the deal there okay so now you have to check according to here when the sunrise will happen it's saying at 6:35 am november 6 the sunrise will happen and the sunrise has happened and the sunset has happened at the 5:27 pm okay so according to this you have to decide what is the time right now and it is coming in the night or it is coming in the day okay and so mm -hmm. it is coming in the night it is coming in the night like so we have made a chart on 3:3 .3 am okay so it is coming in the night is it very clear or not because it is before the yes. sunrise okay mm -hmm. before the sunrise sorry so what will happen we will go to this table okay and then we will see the pisces sign is basically a day sign and the capricorn sign is a night sign always remember that night signs are always strong in the nights and day sign are always strong in the day okay night okay. signs are always strong in the nights and day signs are always strong in the day correct any confusion it's very pretty simple clear logic ashley you got it archana yep. you got it yes yes okay so in this horary chart this is a night time so night sign will be stronger so we will not consider the pisces sign which is falling in the 7th house we will consider the capricorn okay we will consider capricorn and according to the capricorn we will say that yes your partner is very far away from you and he is not traveling or he is not near to your house even if the partner is on the always remember that even the partner of your client lives in the same city okay still you will say the partner is not near to your home because the scale of the distance gets changed okay it doesn't depend on the uh, where your partner is living or not living okay just suppose your partner lives around at the distance of 30 minutes drive okay so then the move will becomes a 30 minutes drive the distance between home and the partner home will become the dual sign and just to the near like the 5 minutes to your home 2 minutes to your home it will become the fixed you got it yes so that's how you we use the day signs and the night sign okay now the thing is people say that you know the sun is your basically soul which cat evolves over the time which is like that which is like that your moon is your emotions which you feel from the inside first you tell me idiots what is the difference between the soul and the emotions i'm not saying you, you guys idiots please don't take it on yourself i'm taking to those guys idiots which you know give these kind of shitty statements just suppose i am saying that i want to have a cheesecake correct is it mm -hmm. my emotion or is it my soul first you tell me this your emotion okay that what is the soul what is the desire of the soul um 
it's pretty confusing to differentiate correct or not is it or not mhm okay so people are stupid who say that you know sun is like that you evolve over the time or is like that fuck that shit we don't talk about that shit okay we can talk about a literally like very specific psychology astrology we can uh, talk about that but we will not talk about this shit things sun evolved over your time sun is your soul you get the incarnation of previous life fuck that first you tell me this because you have a confusion just suppose you have a uh, i don't know stephanie which moon sign you have cancer okay you have a cancer moon sign okay what is the sun sign libra sun sign is a libra cancer is a night sign libra is a day sign okay now you you will guys get confused which the sun sign will be the more prominent or the moon sign will be the more prominent correct you must having these confusion Th- these are the confusion of the beginners okay these are the confusion of the beginners correct and i'm telling that Be- now how will you decide that if it is your day birth okay if uh, uh, stephanie has born in the day after the between the sunrise and the sunset then the day sign will become more stronger okay that means the libra will become more stronger and if she has born in the night then that means cancer will become the more stronger i was born at 5:45 in the morning then you have to put your details in the jehora and see the uh, sunset and the sun rise time on that day and then decide is it coming in the day or is it coming in the night as easy as possible okay any confusion in this i have a moon in a virgo okay but i have a sagittarius ascendant okay and people who know me uh, like the stephanie ashley archana and all 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 knows me that so what do you guys tell me what are the more uh, traits of the sagittarius or of the virgo sagittarius correct <clears throat> do you feel also like that or not or do you feel i am a more virgorian person sagittarius mm-hmm. sagittarius correct i also feel that same because i don't i can live in the filthy trash also <laughs> okay <laughs> so i don't give a fuck about anything i can live anywhere I- anyway so well, that's a trade off sagittarius so how i got it because i was born in a night sagittarius is a sign of a night sagittarius is the night sign virgo is the day sign so which will become stronger if you are born in the night you will your night signs all the night signs in your chart will become more stronger always remember that if you are born in the night if you are born in the day your day signs will become more more stronger now you got it my big 3 my big 3 my big 3 today we have busted the concept of big 3 you only one sign which is more prominent okay this is between i'm telling you between the sun sign and the moon sign the not the ascendant because ascendant anyhow rules all the uh, signs because ascendant is definitely definitely your main it is our, it is like the president we are talking about who is more powerful vice president <laughs> a vice president to or something like that okay so ascendant is the most important sign okay but if you are talking about the capric uh, just say i have okay i have a sun in the capricorn moon in the virgo who will tell me that i have more capricorn or the more capricorn is a night sign virgo is a day sign so do do you feel like i am a more capricorn person or the more virgo person Capricorn. Capricorn. Okay. <clears throat> so you got it. More Capricorn than the Virgo, because you guys knows 
I what I realize that you guys really know about the science. That what is the energy of this thing? But you actually don't even you guys can't calculate in the chart. Just suppose if I give you the blank chart. Okay, this is a blank chart of anybody. So how will you decide that that Gemini is more prominent, Virgo is more prominent, Libra is more prominent, or which sign is more prominent? How will you decide that? You will decide on the basis of these things, day and the night. Say. Got it? Wherever, if you're born in the night, your all the night signs will come stronger. If you're born in a day, your all day signs will come stronger. But how come when I'm a day birth, I feel like I'm still very Gemini? I always say that ascendant will rule over your personality, doesn't matter. In either you have born in a day or either you have born in a night, ascendant has the full veto power to affect you. Okay, I'm talking. That's why I'm talking. Uh, I'm giving the example between the sun sign and the moon sign, not giving the ascendant and the moon sign. Okay, but there are some rules which I've told just like in my last uh, free class that uh, when you have to decide which is more stronger than the ascendant and the moon then you can use this concept of a night sign and a day sign. Okay, but it's like the first layer of deciding the strengths of any sign. It's, it's like the very basic layer. It has, you know, it's like a basic burger of a McDonald's and we have also very uh, costly burgers. So, you know, in the costly burger, you will find the more layers, the more patties, the more salads, the more sauces. So it's like that. It's a very basic uh, layer of deciding which is stronger, but there are other layers also. Okay, but still, this is more enough to decide which uh, sign is more prominent. Okay, but always remember that. Just suppose if you have one planet in Capricorn uh, and you have four planets in the Virgo. Okay, then definitely uh, the strength of the four planets will be counted more. Doesn't matter day and night, okay? But this is between like, if you have one, if you have sun, only sun in the Capricorn, you have only moon in the Capricorn, then it will be, can be calibrated like this, just I have told. Any confusion on this, any question, Ashley, that was all from my side for today. Sorry, any what, confusion. What does it mean to be like a day or a night person? like? That is there like traits? No, no, no. Day or night person means if you're what born in a day, you are a day person. If you're born in a night, oh. you're a night person. That's it. It's not like oh. I love to uh, stay awake in the night. That's why I'm a night person. It's not like that. Okay. It's, it's on the basis of when you have born. Does that go for the strength of that house too? So if you're a day bird, the houses with the day signs are strong. Yes, correct. It's correct. Because houses are the empty thing, you know, and only the science makes them stronger. Any confusion, any other question which you have, Archana, Ashley, Angela, any other question. I love the question, ask me as much as you can. If you want any other example of the prediction, I can give that. Can you give one more example? Uh, pred of predictions? Okay. So uh, we will basically, there, there is my cancer class in which I have said that uh, Stephanie has a, Stephanie said, I have a tattoo. Stephanie just has said, I have a tattoo of lotus. Okay. Cancer sign represents the lotus. Always remember that. Okay. Cancer sign represents the lotus. So she has said, I have a tattoo of the lotus. But then I said, okay, you have a tattoo, but you have tattoo on your, uh, on the leg between your knee and the ankle. Okay, how I predicted that? First of all, always remember that any kind of a marks, any kind of a thing, always represented by the Saturn. Okay, tattoos are represented by Saturn and the Rahu. Okay, so I said, you must have a connection of uh, I will I will show you the chart. 
I don't have a chart, but I remember the placement. Give me a minute. Okay, this is Virgo. She is Virgo ascendant. Okay, and uh, she has Saturn here. Okay, Saturn. Here. Moon is here. <clears throat> so she said, I have a moon in Cancer and I have a tat. Okay. So first I saw you can't have the any kind of a mark or any kind of something until then Saturn is there because where, how you get the tattoo? You have to bear the pain. For a tattoo, you have to bear the pain, correct? Actual tattoo. I'm not talking about that spray tattoo. Like, you know, you put a, uh, put a kind of a pattern on your hand and they spray it on your hand and your tattoo is ready. Not talking about the real tattoos. The real tattoos you get only by the pain. Which planet represents the pain? Saturn. What is the general color of the tattoo? Black. What is who? Uh, black color is the plan. Uh, black color is the color of which planet? Saturn. <laughs> Saturn. <laughs> wow. Ashley, Ashley, are you getting? Okay, but now the point is. Uh, this will come in the Libra, sorry. Libra. Okay, and this is copy. Just forget this Mercury and all. Nothing else. Okay. She has Saturn in the second house. Okay. Moon in the Cancer in the 11th house. Okay. Saturn is aspecting the moon from the 10th aspect. So that's make a connection with the moon and the Saturn. Okay, now the part has come. Okay, the tattoo is confirmed. But the part has come. How I make the prediction? On which part she will get the tattoo? Because 11th house represents... Okay, you must have heard about that uh, Sagittarius represents the thighs, correct? I don't know, like, why my camera is not working. But anyway, fuck it. Sagittarius represents the thighs or not, correct or not? Okay, you guys know it or not? Yeah. Okay. Always remember that 11th house represents the part between your ankle and the knee. The body part between the ankle and the knee. So she will get the tattoo where? Between her ankle and her knee. Yes, exactly. That's simple. That's, that's pretty easy. And the cancer sign is there. It's a movable sign. So what will happen? Any movable sign is there. So it will represent the longevity. That means uh, it will stay on for a longer period of a time. Okay. So for a longer period of a time, do you always predict marks on bodies like that? Yes, I always predict. Does that work for the surgery too? Yes, that, work, that works for the surgery too. Do you look at where marks is? to see where a person had or will have a surgery. Uh, I can't reveal that. How do I see the surgeries in the uh, person of the uh, in the body of the person? Because that's the part of my course. And I have told in uh, many lectures how to see that. OK, so <clears throat> but I will tell you. Uh, yeah, so we were talking about she has cancer here. OK, Saturn is also sitting in the Libra sign. Libra sign is a movable sign or not. Can yeah. you guess? Saturn is a Libra sign. Cancer is also in a Libra sign. So what the movable signs represents? Movable sign represents anything which is on a larger extent or which is on a very longer extent. Okay, either the larger or either the longer. So she will have this tattoo from a very longer period of her time and she will keep this tattoo for, for a very long period of her time. It's not like that, okay, I will delete it and then I will later get another tattoo. So Patel. Yeah. I 
I have a tattoo in the same spot um, mm -hmm. on my, hmm. between my temple. Okay, now you come, <laughs> you have Saturn in the second house and you also have moon in the second house. Now tell yeah. me which, which sign it is falling. It's in Capricorn. And what are the parts represented by the Capricorn? The tattoo. Which body part represented by the Capricorn? Oh. Uh, knees? Yes, knees. Okay. So around the knees. Because the Saturn is 28 degree. Okay. Do you got do you get it or yeah. not? You have the same tattoo again, Saturn Moon conjunction, Saturn Moon connection, and again the sign, and again the second spot. Hmm. Angela, you got it. That's how. Ashley, you got it? Or do you need more examples? No, I got it. A person has Jupiter Mercury in the 10th house. 10th house is for the career, correct? Yeah. He had four businesses. Why the four businesses? Jupiter, uh, sorry. He has Jupiter Mercury in the house of Sagittarius. So I mean, in the sign of Sagittarius, in the 10th house. So Sagittarius is a dual sign. Okay, so he has four businesses also. So like he keeps switching from a one business to another business. If, if you have to see the business with the lens of a movable sign, you have to see any business which is on a very large extent. It is on the, it is a result of a movable sign. Okay. Any small business, it's a result of a fixed sign. Okay. Always remember that that uh, in the terms of business, okay, slow and steady growth always represented by the fixed signs. Okay. Fast, just like a business will grow very, really, really fast and uh, uh, suddenly it will get closed. Okay. You know, a company came into the market, they made a lot of money, they made a lot of chaos in the market. Okay, they done a very aggressive marketing and then suddenly they're gone. It's a result of, it's a trait of a movable sign. Okay. You see people who have a lot of, you know, the pe they're the two kind of a people who has a lot of, lot of, lot of partners. Like, you know, oh, I had 18 partners. I had 20 partners in my life. You will see a lot of movable aspects in their chart, movable signs in their chart. Okay. And you see so the people who have fixed signs, they are very fixed. They are very fixed on their uh, things. Even with the relationships, they are very fixed. No, I will marry this person. Doesn't matter how bad he is, how good he is. Okay, it's fine. Even he is not making money. But I have not loved him for his money. Okay. They are very fixed because it's there in the tendency. <clears throat> Movable sign. Okay, fine. Uh, we are not getting along. I think it's over. Uh, I think you should move on. <laughs> okay, that's the movable sign. Dual sign is the most, uh, I'm telling you guys, find the most toxic relationships around you. The most toxic relationships. You will find malefic planets in the dual houses. Toxic relationships around you and see the chart of those people. Okay. You will find a lot of toxic relationships, malefics in the dual planets or in the dual signs. Because dual is not like, I will not even leave you and I will not even marry you. Okay. So it's like that. You guys got it or not? Can you yeah. run any chart in your mind? Anything which is coming in your mind? 
you want to ask or something i know a i know a girl she has rahu mars in the dual sign in the 7th house okay rahu mars <laughs> uh in the 7th house in the sign of pisces dual sign okay her first marriage was very toxic i think i have a very recent chart with me let me see let me apply that okay we have got a chart uh Mm, 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 mm. how can i share it okay got it let me open it now you will guys get amazed okay be ready for get some shocking things this is a chart of a girl okay she has rahu and exalted sun okay both in the 7th house if exalted sun is there but sitting with the malefic it considered as malefic always remember that okay it's a basic rule for the sun so two malefics in the 7th house okay who is the lord of the 7th house who is the lord of 7th house me uh mars yeah okay mars where the mars is sitting in the third house in the third house correct but in the sign is it in the movable sign dual sign or what it's sagittarius in the sagittarius dual, dual sign so now you heard you have to heard her story okay you have to hear her story so story of a first marriage is because seventh house is always uh, represent your first marriage okay so her first marriage is that guy was so abusive that was that guy was so dominant so abusive he actually cut the veins of her hands with a knife and she was admitted to the hospital she was in the icu that's horrible yes that's horrible malefic planet in the dual sign okay you got it and mm -hmm. also see if uh, the lord of the second house is also sitting in the dual sign second house represents your marriage like your family your own family okay and the lord of that is again sitting in the dual okay she has consulted some famous astrologer who is a girl and who has a youtube channel <laughs> this is the right way to tell okay she was not able to predict the condition of her marriage okay then she has consulted another uh, as vedic very prominent vedic astrologer not a prominent in terms of skills but a very famous uh, vedic astrologer i will write the, his name in the chat okay uh. and he was not able to see the condition of her marriage and it was as simple as that okay or oh, i understand it is also not that uh, simple but still you can still see a lot of fragments there in the chart angela just has mentioned uh, above few points like uh, some time ago just angela has mentioned that second house mars she has mentioned that this boy may have got the mark because of something sharp thing because mars represents the sharp things and how he has got the cuts in her hand 
because of the knights. And I have told many times, Mars in the third house, Mars in the 11th house, you always get scars on your hand by any means. Mars in third and Mars in the 11th. You always get scars in your hand. Is that just on your birth chart or it could also be for your um, other only, charts? Only for birth chart. Okay. Okay. So you got the example of a toxic relationship. Any other question? I remember one time you, you said about, because I have a seventh house um, Pisces and the ruler is Jupiter. Mm -hmm. And it's, um, so that's a benefic. So like the, the spouse would be like a good person, I think you were saying. And it's in can um, in my D1 chart, it's in um, Sagittarius, that's dual. Mm -hmm. And it's together with Mars. Oh. No, but you know, uh, the Mars is malefic, but you need to understand that uh, first of all, Mars is sitting in the sign of Sagittarius, which is the house of Jupiter. And Jupiter is sitting there. And I've just told Ashley, any planet which is sitting in its own house gets two times stronger. Okay, just suppose you have Venus Mercury in the Taurus. Okay, so Mer Venus will be more stronger than the Mercury. If you have Venus Rahu in the Taurus sign, Venus will be more stronger than the Rahu. Okay. If you have Rahu and Jupiter, just suppose you have Rahu Jupiter in the Sagittarius sign. Sagittarius sign is a sign of knowledge, wisdom. Okay. Jupiter is a planet. Jupiter's planet is a teacher. And Rahu is basically, we see that if you have a Rahu-Jupiter combination, this person generally changed his religion. But you need to see that Jupiter is getting stronger here because Jupiter is sitting in its own sign, Sagittarius sign. So what that person will do, that person will change the mind of other people because of his intellect, by using his intellect. He will not change the religion of other people but he will change the perception of looking at the things in the same religion. I have sat in the seventh house in a dual sign, but I'm very happy in my marriage and have been with him for 13 years. I don't feel like we are toxic, but uh, who knows? Uh, no, I, actually under this, I've just, I have said, these rules are very basic rules, okay? I have just told you guys that uh, these rules are basically to add the ornamentation in your prediction. So first we have to see the lot of other things, okay? Obviously, if you can make all the prediction just from the uh, movable and the uh, fixed and the, uh, you know, dual signs, then astrology will be like the kid's game, okay? It's not like that. It's just like the one layer, one layer of judging the thing. It's not like the complete layers of judging the things because I always understand that we have we have almost 10 to 15 factors which makes the final prediction, okay? Just like in your exam, when you get the different, different marks in the different, different subjects and they actually see your aggregate marks and then they comment on your exam's results that either you are passed or you are failed, correct? So it doesn't matter if you get very less marks in one subject, so everything will be finished for you, okay? There is a lot of other things, conjunction, aspects, dasha, okay, uh, planetary strengths, sign strengths, house strengths, all other things are very, very important to judge the and to give the final conclusions, okay? So this is just like to judge the basic, basic things. That's why I have told you these things, okay? Any confusion? Ashley? No. Ashley got it completely? Yeah, most of it. <laughs> most of it. You just go through again with the lecture, then you will really get the whole thing, which I'm saying. And I always say, please focus on my words. 
please please focus on my words whatever whatever i'm saying i can understand because of my dialect you can't understand everything properly but when this video will go on the youtube you will get the subtitles okay and then you can easily understand it more properly okay and even if you don't understand it in this live session then please make me poke like you can poke me and i will repeat my sentence with the slow and the clear words okay okay so that's all from my side thank you archna anshla and to come here and to join the session i really loved it and i hope today you have learned something good so this is a part of just like the basic things okay okay well thank you okay take care bye bye thank you have a great day bye